so one of the things that really struck us was that there is this heterogeneity. So there were lots of studies that were measuring different outcomes. And sometimes there were uh, studies were not even using sort of a measure as such. So not a questionnaire or something like that, but maybe looking at, you know, how many more foods was a child eating? There was also, which is you know, interesting and in some ways a little bit, I guess a little bit odd in a way, is that often BMI was used, so body mass index. And I guess for people working or people familiar with treatment of anorexia nervosa, I guess that's quite familiar that there is a debate about the importance of body mass index as a outcome measure. But I think for ARFID, it's particularly interesting because it's not there in the criteria. Like there doesn't need to be, like a, a young person or a patient doesn't need to be underweight so I guess it really struck us that this is quite difficult to, to get consensus because different patients are going to have different different goals, as Emma was saying earlier. But one thing to comment on is that we, we noticed that there wasn't that much use of like psychological measures at all. And there are some recommended ones. So I think in the last couple of years that the paper came out in 2023, that I think that the findings have been out maybe a little bit longer so there was a big sort of international, I guess, project to try and get consensus on how to measure outcomes in eating disorders across the board. So that project's called ICHOM, and so like the International Consortium for Health Outcome Measurement. And they did pick out a couple of measures for ARFID. So the details are in the paper, but just to mention briefly, so one is called the EDYQ and the other one is the NIAS, which is the nine item ARFID screen. So there are some measures that have been recommended, but I guess looking at the field, there isn't kind of consensus yet in the literature. So a lot of people are just measuring ARFID in different ways, and it would be helpful if there could be a bit more consensus on on how to do that.